All right, here I'm going to do another example of solving a compound inequality, and then we'll write the solution in interval notation. So here it says negative uh, 4 has to be less than 3w plus 5, which has to be less than 12. Um, when we write this in one fell swoop, really what they mean is negative 4 has to be less than 3w plus 5, and also 3w plus 5 has to be less than 12. Okay, so it's really just a, uh, a shorthand way of writing both of these statements at once. Okay, so let me go back to the original problem here. So just something uh, that, that you should think about. What the heck do they mean here? Uh, so again, another way to think about it is, you know, we're going to pick some number, w, multiply by 3, add 5. At the end of the day, it's got to be between negative 4 and 12. Those are the numbers that we are looking for. The way that you do this, again, you know, imagine if there was only one inequality here, um, you know, negative 4 less than 3w plus 5. I mean, to me, the first thing I would do would be to subtract 5 from uh, both sides. I would get negative 4 less than 5, which is negative 9, and then I would have the 3w left over. Um, likewise, if we just had, you know, 3w plus 5 less than 12, you know, to solve that inequality, I would do the exact same thing, which is subtract 5. So typically, you know, what you'll, I, I'm going to do it all at once. I think, you know, I've got this uh, negative 4 less than 3w plus 5 less than 12. All, when I see that, I'm trying to get the w by itself in the middle. So to me it says just subtract 5 from everybody. So on the left we'll have negative 9. We'll be left with 3w in the middle. Um, let's see, 12 minus 5 would be 7. And again, the same thing I would do here, if, if only one of the inequalities were there, I would divide everything by 3. And again, that's what I'm going to do everywhere. I'm just going to divide everything by 3. So negative 9 over 3 is going to be negative 3. So it says uh, we'll get w uh, in the middle, just one w, and then less than 7 thirds. So basically it says the numbers that work, it says w has to be strictly greater than negative 3, um, but less than 7 thirds. So if we want to write that again, I'm going to make my little number line. I always like to do that first. Um, so negative 3, we don't use it, so we make an open circle. Um, and it says 7 thirds, that's something positive over there. I'm going to put an open circle. Um, sometimes people always have a tendency to want to put 0 on the number line, I think is just a point of reference. I just put the numbers that I'm using. Um, because if I put zero down there, to me that thinks maybe I, I, you know, I have to use that in my interval somewhere, and I don't. Um, so I just put these numbers down. It says it has to be bigger than negative three, but smaller than seven thirds. So the numbers in between there would be the numbers that work. So to write our solution in interval notation, um, okay. So if you kind of think about the left number, that's going to be the number that goes um, on the left with interval notation. Since it's less than, we don't include it, so we just use our parentheses. We put a comma, and then it says we go up to 7 thirds. And again, we use a parentheses because we don't include it. Okay, so this is the interval notation to describe this set of solutions.